Okay, good afternoon everyone. This is Ambika, working as assistant professor in Laksha Institute of Technology in the Department of IT. So, today I am going to discuss about the uh, topic stack, how the stack will be represented and which principle we are following and what are the operations we are performed on the stack. First, coming to the definition of the stack. So, stack is an ordered collection of elements in which new elements may be inserted at one end and the existing elements may be inserted at one end. Means for the insertion and deletion of the elements, we are using only one end that end can be treated as top of the stack. And in stack, we are basically following the principle LIFO. That means LIFO represents the last in first out. Means whatever the elements we are inserting first, that element will be come out of the last or otherwise whatever the elements we are inserting the last that element will be come out first that is the basic principle in stack means last in first out the stack can be represented in two ways one is array representation another one is linker representation the major difference between the array and linker representation is that in array representation fixed array is allocated memory space whereas in linker representation here we are allocating the memory dynamically at runtime coming to the array representation here let us suppose uh, the stack should be represented in int stack of 100 means here we are uh, allocating the maximum number of elements 100 means our stack capacity is 100 after um, 101 102 elements we cannot be placed in this one so okay uh, for inserting the elements and deleting the elements we are using only one common end and that end is called as top end we are using for inserting and deletions we are using only only this and only. For example, if we want to insert an element 10, that element will be placed here. After that, for example, uh, if we want to insert the another element, that element will be placed here, like that only, 12, 13, 14, like this. If we want to delete an element from the stack, the first element will be deleted, 14. After that, 13. Means here we are following whatever the element will be inserted in first, that element will be come out last. Whatever the element will be inserted last, that element will be come out first. So, uh, in array representation, here the, our stack capacity is 100 means we are inserting 0 to 99 elements if we want to insert another element that element cannot be inserted here because our stack capacity is full if our stack is full we cannot insert the elements for example if we want to delete particular element from this stack but here the stack represents empty if the stack is empty we cannot delete the elements from this stack so for this array representation i am going to take one example let it be first consider this this item can be treated as a stack what is our definition we are inserting the new element so like this i am inserting the plates into this stack so for insertion we are using the same end this end is called top end uh, if we want to delete a particular plate from this stack i am using the same end so for insertion and deletion of the plates into this stack we are using the common end and in this we are following the principle whatever the element inserted last that element will be come out of the first from this stack that's why we are uh, saying that the in stack we are following the lifo principle that means stack is the last in first row and here i am going to discuss one topic that when the stack is full and the when the stack is empty if the here all the plates are uh, filled with in this stack so if we want to insert another plate in this uh, at that time the stack represents full we cannot uh, there is no chance for um, putting another plate into this stack so if the stack represents empty so there is if we want to delete a particular plate from this stack, so we that uh, deletion of this uh, particular plate from this stack is not possible because here the stack represents empty. So here we want to learn in this topic I am going to say that when the stack is full and when the stack is empty. If the stack uh, here the maximum capacity is 100, when the stack reaches to 0 to 99th position in that uh, representation stack represents full. If the stack does not contain any elements at the time we are saying that stack is empty. So common difference between the array representation and linker representation is that here we are representing each and every element like this. But coming to the linker representation, each and every element should be represented in node form. Means the node structure is like this. It, it consisting of two parts. One is data part, another one is next. Data part consisting of always the value which we are stored in it. And the next consisting of the always the address of the next 
node. So this is the array representation of 10, 11, 12 elements. Coming to the linker representation, I am writing like this. Here in the data part, I am going to place the value 10. Whereas in next to, before 10, we are not having any elements. That's why I am representing like this. And the address for uh, this node is 2000. After that, the 11th, the element 11 will be placed in like this. 11 will be stored uh, in data part. So before 11, we are having the 10th element. But what is the address of 10th element? 2000. So always this is linked with 2000 address. Here we are placing 2000. After that, the element 12 will be placed in like this. And here, this uh, next part consisting of the before 12, we are having the node. 4000. That's why I am linked this uh, address next part with this one. So here we are having 4000. The major common difference between the array representation and linker representation is that uh, in array representation, we are allocating the fixed size array in the memory space. Means here the size of the array is fixed. Whereas in linker representation, we can insert any number of elements. Okay, that is the major difference. And here the memory is allocated dynamically at runtime. 